This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Today I'm going to show you a different sort of tapestry needle bind off. Jane in San Diego wrote me and commented that when you have an E wrap cast on, it has a certain look, and then when you do your typical tapestry needle bind off, you get these little horizontal bars all along the stitches on the stockinette side of the knitting. She said, wouldn't it be better if the bind off looked like the cast on and in fact she even sent me directions on how to do that. So let's do it. Knit a sample and end on the right and then cut a nice long piece of yarn for sewing up at least three times the width of the knitting. Now bring all the needles out to hold position. You're going to need a tapestry needle. It's a blunt needle with a fairly large eye for sewing with yarn. And you go ahead and thread the tapestry needle as usual by folding the yarn over the needle, squeeze it between your thumb and your forefinger, and work it into the eye. So now it's threaded. I'm going to start by going through the rightmost stitch from front to back and then by tightening that up. This one tends to be loose, this last stitch. Now the pattern is to take two steps to the left and come into the stitch two needles over on the left. So I skip this one and come in from back to front. Then draw that up fairly tight it is the spacing of the needles that determines how tight this bind off is and because the needles are fairly far apart I need to give this that tug. Now I'm going to take one step back toward the right, put my needle through that stitch from front to back, and then take two steps to the left over to the fourth needle from the right go from back to front, just careful not to split the yarn. And here's where I want to tighten this up, right here. Each time that I take my step back toward the right and I put my needle in, I like to hold these bits of yarn in the back up and get my needle under them. Now two steps to the left to the next new stitch working toward the left, this would be the fifth stitch. And now I do my pull up tight. Now I take a step back into that fourth stitch, and then two steps to the left to the sixth stitch. Go from back to front, avoid splitting the yarn, and again, this is the moment when you want to pull up tight. Now I take a step back, two steps forward, pull that yarn up tight, a step back, two steps forward. Now this can be sewn from right to left or from left to right. To go the other direction, you just end at the left and you work from left to right going back one and forward two as you work your way across. Now I'm going to keep working on this and not film it until I get over to the last needle. Then I want to show you what to do as you finish off the row. Here I am coming out of the second to the last needle working toward the left and this is the place where I would take a step back so I'm going to go to this third from the end one. And then I would come out this very last needle. Now I like to take one more step back, go in the second to the last needle again, and come out the last needle again. That finishes my bind off. All I need to do at this point is pull it off the needles. I'm going to give it a light steaming to uncurl it. Here's our sample now that it's all knitted. Now down here is the e-wrap edge and you can see how that looks. Then up at the top here's this new version 
of Bound Off Edge and see how that looks. It's a really nice stretchy edge for situations where you need some stretch. Now compare that top edge along there to the top edge of my previous sample. Do you see how the previous sample which I've laid on top is bumpy and this one is smoother? Now they're both stretchy but you get just a little nicer finish with that edge. So when you're using a tapestry bind off in a place where it's going to show, why not try this new one?